good morning welcome to current scumber in this video let us uh, study fourier transform infrared spectrometer okay what is ftir spectrometer and its principle and its instrumentation etc with the animation okay let us first study the principle of ftir spectroscopy it is the study of interaction of electromagnetic ir electromagnetic radiation with the matter that give rise to ir spectrum it is also known as vibrational spectrum okay so there is an interaction between ir electromagnetic radiation and the matter as a result we obtain ir spectrum that is called vibrational spectrum in ir spectroscopy the transmittance is measured in ir spectroscopy transmittance is measured as a function of wavelength that is by varying the wavelength the transmittance is measured so in ir spectrum transmittance versus wavelength is plotted now what is transmittance it is given by the expression t equal to it divided by i not it is the intensity of the transmitter light i not is the intensity of the incident beam so by knowing it and i not we can calculate the transmittance now what is the relation between transmitter in a in uv visible spectroscopy absorbance is measured is plotted as a function of wavelength so what is the relation between absorbance and transmittance so a equal to absorbance equal to log i not by to take reverse i not by it therefore so uh, log 1 by capital t okay ir radiation absorption occurs due to transition of molecules from lower vibration level to higher vibration level it is due to it occurs due to vibrational transitions it is used to measure bond length okay and functional group functional group identification isomers distinction character cis trans isomer for example characterization of organic inorganic compounds including nanomaterials drugs biomolecules etc okay let us now see the instrumentation this is the schematic of uh, ftir spectrophotometer it consists of a light source ir light source okay glow bar is used as thermal light source silicon carbide glow bar is made up of silicon carbide okay by heating silicon carbide it will emit um, ir radiation or mercury lamps under high pressure of mercury vapor okay and then it consists of michelson interferometer this setup is called this setup is called michelson interferometer okay so it consists of as you see it consists of two mirrors it consists of two mirrors fixed mirror and movable mirror this is movable mirror and beam splitter and a beam splitter okay so one of the mirror is fixed another is uh, movable mirror the beam splitter what is the role of beam splitter it splits the ir beam into two halves okay and one half is allowed to pass through transmit transmit this one half is transmitted another half is reflected uh, to movable mirror okay and further the transmitter light the transmitter light from movable mirror and fixed mirror meet at meet at beam splitter to recombine there are two possibilities one constructive interference another one is destructive interference the beam is then allowed to pass through sample and then detector okay okay let us now see the constructive interference when constructive interference will occur when the the dis, when the path length difference is zero okay for example the distance between beam splitter 
and fixed mirror beam selector and movable mirror are same when the distances are same then that is zero path length difference constructive interference occur let us see with the animation here you see here okay a beam of light is passed through it splits into two equal halves with the half intensity the intensity decreased because of beam splitter and then you see it moves here similarly this moves here and it is reflected back the the beams are reflected back and meet at the beam splitter and in this case in this case as you see the two waves undergo constructive interference okay because crest meets with the crest therefore there is constructive interference and the intensity is enhanced because of constructive interference okay let us now see the destructive interference okay when there is constructive there will be destructive now when there will be destructive interference under what condition so the movable mirror is um, moved by okay moved by lambda by 4 therefore the path length difference okay the, the this beam travels much larger distance this beam travels much larger distance that is lambda by 4 forward direction and backward direction um, another lambda by 4 therefore lambda by 2 so the path length difference is now lambda by 2 okay let us see now the animation how it works okay the beam um, from light source is allowed to fall on beam splitter and it is split into two equal halves okay and uh, now it meets the two beam meets at the beam splitter okay you see here there is no resultant intensity because of destructive interference as you see here crest overlaps with the trough therefore there is destructive interference as you see here there is no wave intensity okay let us now see the full animation of constructive interference and destructive interference with the schematic and animation as you see there is constructive interference okay and the mirror is moved by lambda by 4 therefore the path length difference is lambda by 2 okay there is destructive interference okay what are the components present in FTIR instrument as you see as we have seen earlier it consists of source interferometer Michelson interferometer sample compartment detector and then amplifier and computer in analog to digital converter amplifier okay the IR light source produces radi IR radiation of all wavelength which passes through the interferometer in simulation in animation we have seen only one wavelength for simplicity whereas uh, in actual experiment the IR radiation uh, of all wavelength in the IR region which passes through the interferometer and then the sample and the detector then the signal is amplified and converted to digital signal analog to digital by analog to digital converter okay and eventually finally the signal is transferred to a computer in which Fourier transform is Fourier transform is carried out to produce IR spectrum okay let us see the working of FTIR instrument we have already uh, seen I have explained uh, if the distances are the same the distances traveled by the two beams are the same that is zero path difference then constructive interference occur if the movable mirror moves away from the splitter then the extra distance traveled by the light is defined as the optical path length difference OPD that is denoted by delta when OPD is multiples of 
n lambda 1 lambda in or n 0 lambda 0 n equal to 0 1 2 3 0 lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda then constructive interference occur okay because of more crest overlap with the crest as a result maximum intensity of the signal is observed by the detector in opposite when OPD is the multiple of half wavelength that is 1 by 2 3 by 2 um, 5 by 2 etc okay that is delta equal to n plus half lambda uh, under this condition okay destructive interference occurs because crest meets with the trough consequently a minimum signal intensity is absorbed by the detector okay so the intensity of the signal is maximum for constructive interference and for destructive interference minimum okay so it varies between maximum and minimum since the mirror moves back and forth the intensity of the signal increases and decreases which give rise to a cosine wave that is uh, this is called uh, this is the intensity versus optical when the mirror, mirror moves back and forth okay this is zero distance path length so constructive interference and then uh, path length different decreases and uh, increases okay this plot the signal intensity versus optical path difference is called interferogram okay this upon fast fourier transform is converted into ir spectrum is converted into ir spectrum okay this is interferogram obtained from michelson interferometer and um, this is the ir spectrum obtained by fast fourier transform of interferogram thank you for watching please share and subscribe thank you again